Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with substitution. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, negative 5x minus 3y plus z equals negative 4. Negative 2x minus 2y plus 2z equals 4, and z equals x plus 5. And we need to solve the system by substitution. Well, let's look at our second equation here. My second equation, negative 2x minus 2y, right, plus, and instead of z, I have this as x, or z in terms of x. So let's put that x plus 5 in for that z value, and that's equal to 4. I'm substituting that in. And let's go simplify this, so we get our y's and x's uh, separated. So we go down, we have negative 2x here, minus 2y, plus, distribute the 2, and we have 2x here, plus 2 times 5 is 10, equals 4. Well, now combining like terms, negative 2x plus 2x cancels each other out. So we just have a negative 2y here, plus 10, equals 4, and we actually can get y by itself now. Subtract a 10 to both sides, and we have negative 2y equals a negative 6. Divide both sides by a negative 2, and y equals a positive 3. So if y equals a positive 3 here. Then from there, what we want to do is, okay, we have y equals positive 3. Let's look at our first equation, and let's put that y equals 3 in for this y right here. So we have negative 5x minus 3 times a positive 3, and now watch this. Instead of z, we put the third equation in, x plus 5, and keep going, equals a negative 4. And now we have an equation only with x's, so we can simplify this, or solve it, to get x by itself. So negative 5x comes down, negative 3 times 3 is a negative 9, plus x plus 5 equals negative 4. All right, let's combine our like terms here. Negative 5x plus 1x is a negative 4x. Negative 9 plus 5 is a negative 4, equals a negative 4 here. Add a 4 to both sides, a negative 4x here equals, well, 0. Divide both sides by negative 4, and x equals 0. Well, that's nice. We have x equals 0 and y equals 3. We need to get a z. That's actually super easy. z is right here. z equals, well, instead of x, let's put a 0 in, plus 5. And so, pretty much there, z equals a positive 5. We can write this as a coordinate point. We have all 3 down. 0, comma, 3, comma, 5, and that's our final answer. x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3, and z is equal to 5. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.